What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and of course Pay to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. That's right, everybody. I hope you're all doing great out there. So if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you are in the right place to stay up to date with what is going on in the gig economy. So Get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications. So you're always notified every time I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style. So this particular person asked to remain anonymous. So I will respect their wishes. Uh, they said, hey, Pete, you've helped me out in the past, and I appreciate it. Glad to help. I don't mind if you do a story about this, but could you keep my name out? You got it. So I got my first contract violation for lateness, and I have questions. I'm kind of a star dasher, 4.99 top dasher and all of that. Never make big mistakes and always cover my ass. I picked up an order for Merchant A, and everything went smoothly. I arrived early. Food was ready. Perfect. While I was at the merchant, I, I got a nearby offer for Merchant B. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Uh, while I was at Merchant A, I got a nearby. Okay. So I go to Merchant B, and there's a long wait exceeding 20 minutes. Once things were getting to the 10 minute wait point, I notified the customer, marked it as still being prepared in the app, and I talked to support. They said I wouldn't get a violation. Sure as shit, I did. I received an email saying I got the violation for lateness at this time and one violation wouldn't be grounds for deactivation. I was bummed because I'm never that late and support said I would be fine. The violation never showed up in the app, but I did get the email. The email said to dispute it in the app, but it didn't show up there. I'm confused. Did I get a contract violation? Did they smooth it over? Support says just dash like usual, but I don't trust this. Once again, nothing ever showed up in the app. I feel like I'm in a loophole. I really want to have on paper my testimony and justification, but it feels out of my hands. Any advice? So it says, hi to so-and-so. This is the support email. Thanks for contacting us about our policy for extreme lateness. You receive this contract violation for picking up and or delivering an order later than what our delivery estimates suggest your travel duration should be. All dashers agree to timely pickup and delivery in the independent contractor agreement. Failing to do so is a violation of that contract and DoorDash reserves the right to deactivate a dasher when they are repeatedly late to their pickups and deliveries. Uh, at this time, one contract violation for lateness does not constitute grounds for deactivation. If you feel that your lateness was justified, you can dispute the violation in the ratings tab of the Dasher app under contract violations. We want to hear your perspective and best assess your situation, so we encourage you to provide as much detail of the delivery as you can. Please note that the review of disputes will be prioritized by a specialized team for accounts at risk of deactivation based on multiple lateness violations. Support will not be able to provide additional information or updates, remove violations, or escalate a dispute. Contract violations are cleared after 100 qualifying deliveries are completed after the violation excludes batched or packaged orders, uh, dasher shop and deliver orders, and drive retail or grocery order orders with large delivery windows. In the meantime, you may continue to dash as normal. And then it gives a reference number. Now, I know it says support will not be able to provide additional information or updates, but I still recommend calmly... Uh, you, you know, you, any advice, I would try and reach out to them and be like, listen, I know it says not to contact support. However, in my app under the rating section, it doesn't mention anything about this lateness. So what am I supposed to do? Because again, it's like they're leaving you hanging. It's like, like you said, you're in a loophole. It's like you're stuck in like purgatory here. And, uh, you know, it doesn't really make any sense. And I don't blame you for feeling like this. Um, so to this person, what I would suggest is I would suggest, like I said, contacting support, uh, what is it? Support at doordash.com is the email. If you can't get through to somebody on there, I would try calling the number that you, you used and say, listen, 
this is my situation. Do I have anything to worry about? And see what they say. Um, if they really can't help you there, ask to speak to their manager or supervisor. Because again, at the end of the day, they don't care what happens to you, you do. So you have to make sure that you are in the best situation possible. So with that being said, uh, that's what I would do if I were in your shoes. And uh, another recommendation is don't take another offer uh, if you're waiting on another one. That, that, could, that could help as well. So uh, what do you guys think that this driver, this dasher should do? Let me know in the chat or the comments. And if you guys ever have anything you want to send me, uh, a question or whatever, or just a topic for a video, send me an email at paytodrivestories at gmail.com. That's in the description down below. Or for a quicker response, uh, you can message me through Patreon at patreon.com slash paid to drive. There's a link in the description and in the pin top comment of every single video. Anyone who signs up, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So I'm going to do that right now. When you hear your name called in the chat or the comments, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver. Thank you, Ari. And the very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Parnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Jenny Thomas, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to all of them. Really, really appreciate all of you. So yeah, sign up down below for Patreon. And of course, everybody, please make sure you are all signed up on the Get Upside Gas app. It is a free app for your smartphone to save money at the gas pump. So make sure you are on that today. Download it. Link is in the description down below on any kind of phone. It'll work. Go to the gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code you'll get paid every time they pump gas it's called get upside links in the description down below and make sure to download it and if you want one of these comment 111 if you smash that like t-shirts or many other designs please visit paytodrivestore.com where everything is on sale every single day different designs color sizes you name it we probably have it get all your t-shirts hoodies and goodies at paytodrivestore.com links down below. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm very grateful for all of you. Leave a comment right now in the chat or the comment saying end 713, E-N-D 713. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified when we post something new. Hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And until next time, get that money and get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and pay to drive vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.